Scotland up against Samoa and Pool A. This is a very important game uh, in terms of how this pool is going to pan out. Before the tournament, uh, it was all about Ireland, Japan and Scotland. Would Scotland or Japan get that second spot behind Ireland? Now Japan have beaten Ireland, so everything is still open. Uh, Samoa, I don't think anybody can write off. Uh, they got a good bonus point win against Russia. It wasn't the best performance, but it was enough. And it's a team that hopefully will be able to build on that first result. Scotland were about as bad as it gets in that first performance against Ireland. But you've got to imagine that they're going to totally bounce back uh, for the rest of the tournament. Because I don't think they could perform twice like that in a row. They have too much talent in that team to, to, to remain at that level. So expect this to be a cracking game. Uh, yeah, first and... Well, they were first in the pool. Now they are third behind Ireland with the bonus point loss to Japan. And Japan with the two wins. So third for, for Samoa. Uh, fourth for for Scotland. Still ahead of Russia. But again, desperately need a win. So I'll put the teams in the description so you guys can have a look there. But with the recent rugby history between these teams, uh, it's 4-1 to one in Scotland's favour. So it's only once that Samoa has ever beaten uh, Scotland, they've had, I think it was 11 games, 10 wins to Scotland, or was it 9 wins to Scotland, a draw, and 1 win for Samoa. Of those last 5, that's spanning the period 2010 to 2017. So it's not ancient history, it's still relatively relevant. Uh, the most recent win was Scotland over Samoa and Edinburgh, which was 44-38 uh, in 2017. And to be fair, a lot of Scotland's wins over Samoa haven't been at least in the last five games. They haven't been outrageously one-sided. The biggest win of the last five games is actually that one win that Samoa got, which was 10 points, uh, 10 points difference over, over Scotland. So recent history is fairly close between the two teams, but um, I'll get to the predictions for the algorithm and the bookies in a tick. Uh, for the teams themselves, Scotland's had five changes to their lineup, some of those injury-enforced. So Front row is the same with Dell, McAnally, and Nell. Second row is the same with Gilchrist and Gray, uh, Johnny Gray. But the back row is all changed with Bradbury, who's been called into the side um, because Watson's gone home. Uh, Jamie Ritchie's at seven. I think he wasn't available for the last game because he picked up a knock in the, the, the last warm-up game. And uh, Blade Thompson moves up from the bench to start at number eight. Laidlaw and Russell are still nine and ten. Uh, the back three has had one change, so it's still Maitland at left wing, Hogs on the at fullback, but right wing is now um, Darcy Graham instead of um, Seymour. So one change there. And the midfield has also got one change. Sam Johnson is still at 12, but Chris Harris is at 13. So Duncan Taylor moves to the bench. For the rest of the bench, it's still Fraser Brown and Gordy Reid, but Xander Ferguson comes up into the squad. Uh, Cummings is still there on the bench. Ryan Wilson is in the squad. From the starting lineup, he's dropped down. Uh, George Horn moves into the squad. Ali Price is out for the tournament, likewise with Watson. So that's uh, bad news for him, but good news for George Horn, I guess. Uh, Adam Hastings uh, wasn't in the squad last week as well. He is there on the bench too. So five changes from that team. They played on Sunday. So it's a, a nice break between games. Scotland to, to reset and, and get things right uh, for this next game. So it's a, it's a Monday game, so a week's rest exactly, and then a then the game the next day. So seven days rest. Uh, for Samoa, they've had a few suspensions. So Lilo and Matu'u were suspended uh, for three games, or Matu'u's one's essentially four games, because I think he had a concussion protocol to go through. So he wouldn't have been able to play this week anyway. So his is essentially four games. Uh, that he is banned for. So they've had to make some changes. Uh, the front row is still Mulipola and Alalatoa as the props. But uh, Niuya has moved up from the bench to be the starting hooker in Motu'u's absence. Second row is still Paolo and Laupepe. Back row is still Vui at 6, Iwane at 7. But Jack Lamb is back at 8. He was unavailable for the last game. So Vui was captain last week. This week is regular captain uh, Jack Lamb. So it's good news for him. The backs... Matavao is starting at 9. He was on the bench last week. PC is still at 10. That guy will need to get his goal kicks better because goal kicking last week was a serious problem. A lot of drop points uh, for Samoa in that game. If this game is going to be close, goal kicking could be a factor. Uh, Taefu is at 12. Leua moves from the wing to outside center. Uh, and the outside backs is still Fidao on left wing. It's Tua Tagaloa on the right wing who's 
kind of made the news for turning down a contract in France so he could play at the World Cup. It was kind of the ultimatum, come to sign for our club or go to play for your country. He chose his country, which was awesome. Uh, Tim Leonard williams is still at fullback. On the bench, uh, they've had a few other changes. Fonatia is back in the squad, if you remember him from the Crusaders days in Super Rugby. Uh, so he's on the bench. Cowley's on the bench. Tyrell's on the bench. Uh, Fa'asalele is on the bench, along with... Um, say Lala Lam as the backup hooker. So yeah, they've had to make a few changes, all the rest uh, standard from the last game. So yeah, uh, Paula Taival failed at HIA in the last game, so he's not available. And Amosa is out with um, knee ligaments that he hurt in the last game. So it's kind of good news that Lam uh, is back for Samoa. So yeah, those are the squads. How's it predicted to go? Well, despite the fact that I said these games are traditionally close, at least in the last five games, um, the bookies have got Scotland by 17 points, so pretty comfortable favourites. And uh, rugby forecast, the algorithm has Scotland by 16 points, so not much between those two. Uh, I like to think the game will be a bit closer than that. I'm sure Scotland would absolutely love a bonus point win at this point in the pool because... That pool has is, is really opened up at the stage. But can you imagine if Samoa got two wins on the trot? Then it really becomes maybe a four-horse race. Or would Scotland be out of it? I don't know, man. Whoever gets a win, uh, it'll be well de uh, deserved. The two teams in blue are going to go at it. I'm not sure who's wearing home, who's wearing away for this one. But Scotland will definitely need to improve big time. They have the players to do it. Samoa had to make a few changes. Uh, but perhaps a bit better than what is on paper but i guess we'll see how it goes uh you guys let me know your thoughts on the squads how do you think this one's going to go and i'll talk to you again soon see you later